Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. Today we're going to be talking about DE's recent dev stream for Warframe and a lot of juicy information. So let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, we're over here on Warframe's news page. I'll leave this link in the description down below. And at first we just have a bunch of general overview stuff, the actual stream itself right here on a little video. And if we keep scrolling down, we get the little interim update letting us know we're going to get a new Tenogen. On top of the new Tenogen, we are also getting a new Kuva weapon and a new Tenant weapon. And that will be the Kuva Sobek and the Tenet Glaxion, which I am super hype about and I cannot wait to see in game. Our next major update, Jade Shadows, explores more of the Warframe universe post the new war quest. There are already quite a few narrative threads to follow after completing this quest, including Cal's story with the Veilbreaker, the Angels of the Zeraman, and of course the Whispers in the Walls. But with Jade Shadows, we're revisiting the Stalker himself. There's a lot to come in this update, including a 30 minute cinematic quest. Not only will we get to learn more about the Stalker thanks to this quest, but we will also be getting the new Warframe herself, Jade, who looks absolutely badass. In addition to her aesthetics, Jade is also coming with three weapons. In a way, Jade is the opposite of the Stalker, and her weapons are meant to be the antithesis of Stalker's despair, dread, and hate. We get a brand new Warframe with three brand new weapons. For the primary, we got the Evan Song Bow, which is looking absolutely gorgeous. For the secondary, we got the Canter, which are actually throwing knives these look really interesting and i'm really curious to see how they'll actually look in game and then for the melee we got the harmony scythe and this thing looks absolutely gorgeous i'm really curious to see how good this weapon will be especially because as you can see right here pablo mentioned that each weapon has its own special mechanic and offers an additional boon if all three weapons are present in mission we're getting a stalker landing craft skin which looks absolutely badass we are also getting a brand new game mode and clan event with jade shadows and the clan event is supposed to be called operation belly of the beast and they will be releasing more information in a future dev stream but be on the lookout for that not only does this picture look absolutely badass with the stalker in the back but the overall theme of this game mode and event seem pretty cool along with jade shadows there will be a new eximus enemy with ascension we are introducing a new eximus type the jade light eximus this enemy is available across all faction types and we fear parvos grina may have had something to do with it Lore Savvy Tenno may recognize the term Jade Light and infer more about this enemy as a result. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't know what that means. If I had to take a guess, it probably has something to do with the fact that Parvos Granum, you know, has control over time and space and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe we're just finally starting to get crazy. Next up, we're going to be talking about enemy scaling and status effects rework. Oh man, yeah, this is quite a lot. This rework comes in three stages, enemy armor adjustments with health scaling and shield regen changes for balance, simplification of faction resistances, and lesser use status improvements so they're trying to balance out the armor and the shields of the enemies that we face which is definitely pretty interesting they actually went ahead and decided to update the star chart whenever jade shadows comes out so now every mission type will have suggested damage that you should bring and is definitely useful for newer players and now we're on to the lesser used status improvements we are making changes to the following status effects to make them feel more useful to players cold blast gas and magnetic and then it says please review our dev workshop for details for blast we have the blast is blasting more to come our concepts and ideas with blast are rapidly changing no specifics will be made as of right now while we continue to work on the status which probably means it'll get really good and then get nerfed again i don't know we'll see next up we got cold our goal with cold is to emphasize the effectiveness of the fantasy of slowing and freezing your enemies and they increase the critical damage you do to frozen enemies which is definitely pretty cool to see next up we got gas gas often lacks effective readability making it difficult to distinguish its presence from the enemy or yourself it's important to introduce enhanced visuals for the gas status so its presence is noticeably present so gas is pretty much just getting some new visual effects so you can actually tell when it's your gas that you're applying to the enemy and lastly we got magnetic while magnetic won't be getting dramatic changes our goal is to make the status a stronger pick against corpus and shielded enemies and they are also interested in the idea that the magnetic damage type will have improved effectiveness against the nullifier bubbles that corpus usually have so uh that's honestly gonna be really interesting to see and i'm really curious to see the direction that that DE is actually going to take with these status effect changes. Let me know what you guys think down below. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. As you can see right here, there is a little bit more information. But like I said before, if you're really curious to look at all this, I will leave it linked in the description down below. Before this video ends, real quick, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. Keep your head up, stay positive. And with that being said, thanks for watching.